Hello guys, what's up? So today I received a parcel. And let's check. Look at that. Power adapter. And just this one. It's the Digitech RP55. This is uh, a second hand pedal, hence it doesn't have any box, uh, no manual as well. But I'm quite familiar with this pedal. I bought it second hand because recently there's been uh, messages, comments on my YouTube regarding this pedal. And because I'm answering the questions. Uh, out of my memory because I used to use this pedal so I decided to look online and I found it on eBay quite cheap it's total bargain because it's only 12 pounds and that includes the power adapter uh, mine when I bought it it was 36 I think 36 pounds and the power adapter was about 15 I think or between 10 pounds to 15 pounds and then I bought an expression pedal, uh, a generic uh, expression pedal, because you can connect it on here. Uh, it's difficult. That's the one. Control. Is it? How? What's? Control in. It's called control in. And the output here serves as your headphone uh, output as well, so can. You can do a silent practice just using this one that's why it's called actually a modeling guitar processor uh, what else can I share about this pedal um, yeah so I bought an expression pedal connect it here and you can use it as wah wah as volume pedal or a wami uh, effects pedal for this one there's a comment about this one so i answered it already about the headphones and then the other one was if i can help him make a nice overdrive uh, patch uh, using this pedal we'll do that in a sec so um there's a shortcut editing of this one uh, one is i scroll on the existing if patches and then if I find one that sort of suits what I I needed I save it on a bank that I will be using let's say I save it in zero one let's say for my clean tone and zero two for my rhythm and zero three for my lead um, tone uh, so I it saves me time I don't have to edit or start from scratch the next thing that you can do is if you really really wanted to take time is to delete because it, it will just show here um, the effects that you needed it starts with your preset level so the volume this is the good thing with this one that's why you can have a clean tone you can have a rhythm and your lead you can vary the volume and then pick up and wah so if you got a single coil you want it to sound like a humbucker you get that option with this pedal and the next one is compressor i'm not a fan of compressor but yeah you can Add that one if you're into sort of blues uh, kind of stuff. Amp model. So your amp model, that's where your gain and it will serve as your overdrive or your distortion. Because they don't have that in, in this pedal. So uh, bear that in mind that we will be using the amp model. Uh, noise gate which is also important. To me, I'm not a fan of noise gate. Uh, I've, I've mentioned that on my Zoom G1X on. But you have it here as well. If you need it, you can add the noise gate. You can turn it on. 
EQ. I'm I'm a big fan of EQ because sometimes you know your guitar needed it, or if you're plugging it directly to PA, at least your sound is already mixed. All you need to do is to just put the EQ flat. Same with your amp. If you tweak the EQ from your effects pedal, you just put your amp EQ flat, so 555 five, five, or in the middle. 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock, that's it. You got chorus and modulation, the next one there. Then delay and reverb. Alright, so all you need to do is to turn off everything and then add one at a time and that's your patch after you finished takes a while takes a long time to do that but it's worth it because it's your own sound right let's plug this one in test it and then i'll get back to you once i'm happy with the patch that i got see you later okay so we're all set now that's uh, number one patch or bank if you press this together it will be on bypass mode Oop, there you go by for bypass so that's how the sound of my guitar so that's the sound of my guitar on bypass mode and press simultaneously and hold for tuner there we go and then it's on mute okay and press any pedal so number one so I've skipped I move to 45 I like this better because it's only a reverb EQ noise gate and amp model and to edit so you can move this one to here and then we can remove the noise gate perhaps value off that's it EQ base 6 uh, no no the, the, the other one base base 6 uh, mid 5 treble 5 so I'm quite happy with that now with the reverb 30 yeah quite happy with that and store to on number five I want it on number one okay so that's my clean tone and then I can change the amp model I think that's a boutique. <laughs> is rectifier this is quite quite a strong high gain H is high gain this is out of my memory the tweed I like this one I think this more like thunder So 
sort of like an overdrive. I forgot what's C. This is like a clean sound. This one is like your uh, distortion but on a tame. Okay, it's called stuck, I think, or something like that. Let's go back to T for now. So, T, uh, let's go to T. Tweed, this is tweed, and let's say T. Okay, and then noise gate is off. I'll add some more. And then you got like your overdrive. So I found my um, lead tone. Um, compressor twelve. Amp model G6, noise gate G3, EQ base 6, mid 4, treble 6, no modulation, delay A1, and then value is 50, and reverb is whole 1. So that's it. Mm, how do I exit one? Yeah. Okay. Good. Uh, level maybe I'll put it a bit higher so that's my overdrive my lead So that's it for now guys and I'll get back to you again uh, when I find more uh, stuff for this one. So we got a clean tone, then uh, like an overdrive and then for guitar solo. Okay, um, okay, so see you again soon and please don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel and um, see you again and bye for now. Night night.